Next, we have Nathan. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you for joining us uh, at this wonderful uh, symposium that we've had so far. Um, I really enjoyed our two guest speakers' talks, and I, I really liked uh, Bobby's uh, case study into that and how you talked about uh, how uh, the smart mirror, I barely even heard of a smart mirror before. That's really cool. So I'm a junior computer science student, and I've been at the AI Institute a little over a year now. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my experience at the AI Institute and why I wanted to get involved and hopefully how um, my experience in having uh, it's this kind of environment to let myself uh, research what I'm interested in and collaborate with people, uh, help us uh, discover how to make research for undergraduates and students in general more accessible and more meaningful. So I wanna start by setting a narrative for you to think about. Uh, a, a scene so you could put yourself in the shoes of a student who wants to get involved in research. So obviously you got a lot of books to read, you're doing, you got assignments to complete, you're looking for friends around campus and you, you wanna join some clubs. It's, and, and there's a lot on your mind, but you have an interest in artificial intelligence or at least are interested in research and artificial intelligence has piqued your interest. Maybe you have interacted with a chatbot before that really impressed you with how smart of the responses it, it, it gave you, or uh, you um, are interested in the technology of self-driving cars, or maybe uh, you, would like to uh, watch, uh, you know, like something like the Joe Rogan podcast or something over the internet that uh, where Elon Musk told you about how artificial intelligence could have the ability to surpass human intelligence. And that, uh, even though that might be a little silly for us to think about, it's still a valid reason to be interested in the idea of artificial intelligence. So the question is, how exactly should you get involved in artificial intelligence research? Um, so how can you get involved? Usually there's two different uh, ways that I see from my experience trying to find research that professors and institutions reach out to students. One is a posting, an internship, a research position, and these, have like a sub minimum requirements where uh, and expectations and things for you to do. And this is uh, very dissuading for students when you're looking to get involved and maybe you don't have proficiency in this language or even know what that framework is, but you are genuinely interested in artificial intelligence. And there are papers you've read or videos you've watched and you, uh, you like the idea of chatbots and working and working to develop them, but you simply don't have the experience. So th this way of reaching out to students, usually unless if you somehow meet all of this criteria is uh, a little dissuading and, and tough for students to um, try to reach out to uh, that position. But if you're like me, uh, you go onto the directory of professors and you see what exactly the professors are doing inside of your department and see what kind of research is going on at the university. So me, I, I, my first initial interest was, um, I thought it was fascinating how healthcare can be used to make um, patient care more affordable, faster and how and the amount of uh, exactly all the different aspects that it can help do to help healthcare in the future, even someday, maybe even acting as a doctor it's of its own. So I ended up finding uh, Professor Amit Chet's uh, page and I read a couple of his articles, saw his TEDx talk, and I thought it was really interesting. 
And I never even thought about how knowledge was even a consideration. Uh, I, I didn't even know what models were, uh, like what machine learning models were. And I didn't know the difference between incorporating knowledge uh, and uh, using something that gives you a response based on training and lots of uh, energy, I mean, the data and stuff like that. So I took a risk, I guess. I sent Dr. Sheth an email talking about my interest in uh, healthcare uh, and artificial intelligence. And only 15 minutes later, he responded uh, with open arms saying, this is how you can get involved. This is what we do at the Artificial Intelligence Institute. Let's have a call with uh, you, me, and two um, graduate students or doctoral students and talk about how you can get involved. And to me, that was a huge relief because as an undergraduate, a lot of the people that I know who are uh, computer science majors, they're also super stressed about finding uh, research. They need to get something on their resume or something like that. And so sometimes you kind of just throw darts at the wall and hope that a professor is gonna reach out but, and I'll, most of the time they don't, they don't give any kind of response. And for Dr. Shet to uh, respond to me so fast and, and so openly, I did, thought, wow, Artificial Intelligence Institute sounds awesome. I should try to give it a shot. And honestly, um, honestly, it was probably the best decision I've ever made as an undergraduate student so far. I've gotten to work on so many different projects, not just within the mental health domain. And I've met so many people and made connections professionally and outside of um, uh, just working hours. This is actually us at a fall get together we had. It was, it was a lot of fun. So to briefly go over what exactly I've done at the AI Institute, um, I started by being assigned uh, my main mentor, Kaushik Roy. And I first uh, worked on a preliminary paper analyzing, uh, like I said, I didn't even know what knowledge was, uh, knowledge incorporating into a uh, collaborative assistance and why the current mainstream is to work on all these different models that uh, don't rely on, on knowledge and how we can basically go forward with the best of both worlds. So I ended up publishing the paper with Kaushik and I've also been able to work on other kinds of papers like with collaborators my age, like my friend Sri Ram and it, it's a lot of fun just working together uh, with people inside of the uh, group topic, rather than having to be assigned a position, a role that you have to do and feel that you're stressed and you, you have to do this thing, even if you aren't really that interested in it, but you have been assigned it, so it's your duty to. Um, so I've also been able to work on development of the entire machine learning system behind a collaborative assistant. And uh, this is just an example of, of uh, UI I created with uh, ways to select different uh, machine learning or uh, NLP models, uh, very common ones, and to uh, give a probability score of uh, ca classifying your sentence into, a, uh, into an emotion. So I've had the liberty to do really a lot of different things within uh, the mental health uh, domain in artificial intelligence. And so I've also been able to do all kinds of things because of the liberty I was given. I, I thought, hey, there's not really many students at all other than me at this place. And why, why is that? How can I get more people involved? So I brought it up at one group meeting that I was thinking maybe I should make it, I, I could make an Instagram page with more content to attract students and 
kind of explain what it's like to work at the Artificial Intelligence Institute. And, you know, so far it, it's going, I mean, I'm, I'm administering the account, but there's still work to do, but it's still a lot of fun. I even got to narrate a uh, video that I have no knowledge of the actual uh, domain and what it's working on, but I got to narrate it. I got to narrate a video and I edited it because I was able to help. People asked me for help and I was glad to help. And it was a ton of fun uh, to get to work on something that I really had no clue what I was talking about. So, <laughs> so uh, we have a lot of weekly meetings and sometimes, well, not a lot, it's, it's manageable, but, <laughs> but at some weekly meetings, sometimes there's an absence of, of, of someone who, who usually directs the meeting. And, and sometimes I am, uh, go, am able to step in and give my own, uh, uh, like, coverage of, of what we can go over and also just make it a little more informal because sometimes uh, meetings, you talk about a lot of different topics without just talking to each other. So sometimes I just uh, step in and uh, get the whole group talking rather than going from one group talking about what they're doing to the other. And overall, I've had the privilege to make a lot of really close friends at the AI Institute uh, with people uh, that may not even work on the same topics as me, but people who have the same mindset as I do and passion for artificial intelligence. So my biggest takeaways that I, I'd like to present to you all um, about how to get students more involved and undergraduate students more involved in artificial intelligence research um, based on my own experience is, first of all, the flexibility in the assignment leads to more discovery and productivity. So when I was assigned uh, to the virtual health assistant project, that uh, was being worked on by a few of my mentors, I wasn't told to just, you need to read up on this and you need to work on this. Of course, there were assignments and, and things that I, I, I needed to learn and I was uh, given, given to look at and think about, but being able to just have the whole topic uh, in, in front of me led me to delve into what I was personally interested in and made me want to discover more about it and give my own input into the, in my own personal input into the project. Because um, I knew that I, I don't, I can't possibly just learn what one of my mentors knows uh, better than they do. So why not just learn about something that they might not know about and something that I find interesting and then tell them about it. And, and in, in turn, we are able to get a lot more done and talk about a lot more things within the project. And so it is more productive and it's more fun. So second, interest in topic and desire to learn and contribute are the best attributes for an undergraduate looking to find research. So I'm not a professor, so I can't tell you exactly what, what to look for, but uh, as far as my experience goes, there, whenever there's a lot, something expected out of a student and things that they need to know, there's students out there that might not have that level of expertise yet, but they have, the, but they have a much higher level of interest and therefore can learn a lot more and a lot faster when they are introduced to the research topic. So third, reaching out to interested students with project goals and research topic covered will attract students interested and ready to learn. Uh, again, kind of when reaching out to students, um, 
try not to persuade them into focusing on one sing single assignment. Let them explore what they like to do because if a student has a good level of interest and is willing to learn, then they will pursue something that they are interested in. And, and there's no really barriers to get getting students involved. I mean, uh, with, with like a position where you guarantee you, you're getting paid this and you're working this long, it's harder to attract multiple students in. But if you just have the project and the goals and, and what you can expect to learn in front of students, they're a lot more willing and interested in getting involved. And many can get involved and, you know, some might find it more interesting than others and some will stick around longer than others. So lastly, spending personal time with group members leads to closer bond and desire to accomplish things together. So I've spent plenty of time off the clock with my group members and also just talking with any, everybody at the Artificial Intelligence Institute. And spending this time away from work has led me to better understand how that person functions, how that person uh, thinks and how they, how they know me. And we can get the best out of each other when we uh, understand each other better. And um, informally talking about artificial intelligence, informally talking about how the project is going is, um, it leads to a more discussion that is personally might um, help you rather than getting into your working environment, working mode, and uh, trying to get things done together. Spending time away from work together is how we can reach out to each other better and connect. And it's also how we can learn about each other more, what our interests are. And even if I don't know somebody or don't, don't collaborate with them because we have completely different interests, maybe when, when, when we talk about something, we realize, hey, maybe uh, I can reach out to this person about this later on or maybe we do have something in common. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, last thing, I, I, I just wanted to give a special thank you to Dr. Sheth for uh, allowing me and uh, welcoming me to Artificial Intelligence Institute. And I hope that I uh, can continue to help uh, get other undergraduate students involved and because this is a great place. And I'm sure there's plenty of places around the country as well that uh, are, are excellent places to uh, perform research in, but might just might not be reaching out to the students in the uh, optimal manner. So that being said, thank you for listening and I'm happy to answer any questions.